क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट फाइंड द रेशो ऑफ ए पार्ट इज रुपीज फाइव टू फिफ्टी पैसे बी इज फिफ्टीन के जी टू टू हंड्रेड टेन ग्राम सी इज नाइन मीटर टू ट्वेंटी सेवन सेंटीमीटर एंड डी इज थर्टी डेज टू थर्टी सिक्स आवर्स ए रुपीज फाइव टू फिफ्टी पैसे वी हैव टू फाइंड रेशो बट वी कैन नॉट डू इट बिकॉज यूनिट्स आर नॉट सेम सो वी हैव टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल चेंज द यूनिट्स दैट इज we have to go to lower denomination these are called denominations that is rupees and paise are called denominations of currency now we know the conversion factor of rupees to paise that is 1 rupee equals 100 paise simply 5 rupee will be equal to 500 paise therefore writing ratio in terms of fractions because ratio is all about fractions rupee 5 2 means divided by 50 paise in denominator We have found rupee five is equal to five hundred paise. Therefore, writing the same division as it is, fifty paise as it is, paise paise cancel out. This means that ratios do not have units; they are unitless. Now, zero zero cancel. One five is a five. Again, one five is a five. Zero. So, ten is to one is your required ratio. Now, what does this mean? This means that rupee five consists of ten times fifty paise. So that is all about ratios with the help of ratios we can compare quantities or we can describe one quantity with the help of other that is your a b 15 kg to 210 grams again units are not same but we know the conversion factor kilogram is equal to 1000 gram here we are coming to lower units you can also do opposite that is you can convert this grams to kgs but that will go in fractions or decimals therefore we try to go to lower units 15 kg will be 15000 gram simple multiplication therefore writing same 15 kg 2 means division by 200 grams 15 kg is equivalent to 15000 grams writing the same this as it is gram gram cancel again ratios are unitless 10 with 10 cancel now you can see that these numbers are divisible by 3 7 3 is a 21 and 3 5 is a 15 2 zeros as it is not further reducible therefore required ratio is 500 ratio 7 that is your b c 9 meter to 27 cm again units are not same but we can convert we know the conversion factor 1 meter equals 100 cm 9 meter will be equal to 900 cm 9 meter divided by 27 cm 9 meter we have found equals to 900 cm upon 27 cm unitless unit get cancel out we can reduce them by 9 so 39s are 27 9 ones are 9 20s as it is not further reducible 100 over 3 so you can write it as the required ratio is 100 ratio 3 that is your c part D, thirty days to thirty-six hours. Well, ratios are not same, but we know the relationship between days and hours. One day contains twenty-four hours. Therefore, twenty-four hours. And how much thirty days will be containing in terms of hours? So you have to multiply these both numbers. So zero we will attach later. Simply multiply twenty-four into three. Four is a twelve. One carry three to the six plus one seven twenty. Hours, so thirty days over thirty-six hours. Thirty days equals seven twenty hours over thirty-six hours as it is. Again, unitless hours are cancel out. Now we can directly reduce them with factor thirty-six. One thirty-six are thirty-six. You know thirty-six twos are seventy-two. So two and zero as it is. So the ratio is twenty ratio one. What does it mean? It means that thirty days is equal to twenty times thirty-six hours, or in other ways, when thirty-six hours will happen twenty times, we will have thirty days. That is your D of question number first. Question second: In a computer lab, there are three computers for every six students. How many computers will be needed for twenty-four students? The following question can be solved. Using two methods, unitary method that you have studied in your sixth standard, 
and the ratio method which you are going to study in this class. So first, let's solve it with the help of unitary method. So the question says, computer lab consists of three computers for every six students and how many computers for 24 students? That is what the question is asking. Now, six students, that is for six students, we have three computers. That is what this statement means. For one student, because in unitary method, we try to first find the value for one. Then we multiply it with whatever the number has been asked. So one student will obviously have less computer, three over six computer. But this doesn't make sense. And we also learned in our previous class that we don't reduce them here because in further step, this fraction is very useful. Now for 24 students, we were asked to find 24 students will have this much of computers. We just multiply this for one student part with the asked one, that is 24 students. Now here is the benefit of not reducing it here. You could have reduced it as 1 over 2. 1, 3 is a 3, 2, 3 is a 6. But you avoid that step. Now you can reduce here. 1, 6 is a 6, 4, 6 is a 24. And 4, 3 is a 12 computers. So for 24 students, computer lab must have 12 computers. Now, this can be solved with ratio method. And ratio method is accomplished using less steps. So for three computers, you have six students. And we don't know this value. That is how many computers will be for 24 students. That is we maintain the ratio that is in proportion. These things are in proportion. For three, we have six. For x, we have 24. And we have to find the value of x. Now we have learned in our previous standard that how to solve proportion that you cross multiply like this but prior to doing that we can reduce it 1 6 is 6 4 6 is 24 now we can cross multiply it that is x into 1 is x equal as it is 3 into 4 is 12 therefore we have found x equals 12 computers the same answer can also be achieved with ratio method unitary method is also a ratio method but it is little bit lengthier as compared to ratio method. So that is your second. Question third. Population of Rajasthan equals 570 lakhs and population of UP equals 1660 lakhs. Area of Rajasthan equals 3 lakh kilometers square and area of UP equals 2 lakh kilometers square. First, how many people are there per kilometer square in both these states? Second is, which state is less populated? The first part says, how many people are there per kilometer square in both the states? That is, we have to find individually. First of all, we will find for Rajasthan and then we will find for the state UP. So let's solve for the first state. So what are the given things in the question? So population of Rajasthan is given to you as 570 lakhs. So we have written the same. Then you are given with the area of Rajasthan is 3 lakh kilometers square. Now we are asked to find how many people are there per kilometer square. That means per means division. So we have to divide both these terms in order to find people there in Rajasthan per kilometer square. So first of all, we will write the population that is 570 lakhs. What is this? Population is of people. Therefore, we wrote people here. Per means division. Therefore, we put the division sign. Now, area is total area is 3 lakh kilometers square. Now, lakh lakh get cancel out. Now, whatever this value will come after solving, that will be people per kilometer square. That is how you read it. And that is what the question was asking for. People per kilometer square. Now, this can be reduced with 3. 1, 3 is a 3. 3, 1 is a 3. 2 remainder, that is 27. 3, 9 is a 27. 0 as it is. So, 190 people. What does this mean? This means... In every kilometer square of area, there are 190 people in Rajasthan. This defines the density of that state. So we have completed half part of our first question. Now we have to find similar answer for the state UP. And what are the given things for us? Population of UP is given. That is 
1660 lakhs or 1660 lakhs therefore written the same and area of up is given to us as 2 lakh kilometers square this means that area of up is less as compared to rajasthan but up contains more number of people as compared to rajasthan and by this you can get an idea that this state will have higher density and what will be the density we will find when we solve it so people there per kilometer square in up will be how much again we have to divide both these values therefore in the numerator population of up is 1660 lakhs we have written same what are these these are people per means division and area is 2 lakh kilometers square 1 lakh lakh get cancelled out easily divisible by 2 1 2 is a 2 2 is a 16 2 3 is a 6 0 as it is so 830 people per kilometer square in up therefore this is more populated as compared to rajasthan and second question was which state is less populated we have already found this that rajasthan only contains 190 people for the same area where up contains 830 people so this is highly populated as compared to rajasthan therefore our second part answer is rajasthan so in this way ratios are helpful in comparison of your different values so that is your last question question number third